I am in a caloric deficit and I cannot lose weight. If I had a nickel for every time I've heard this rap of bullshit. Okay. Uh, the, the odds of you having some sort of metabolic disorder or thermogenic uh, abnormality in thermogenesis to the point where you can't lose weight from being in a, cal a caloric deficit is almost the same as winning the lottery. It's not to say there aren't people out there. You, you, we've all seen them, you know, the My 600 Pound Life or whatever that show is. Those those people um, clearly have something genetically going on that makes them that size, okay? It's like being seven foot tall. It's, it's an abnormality. It's uncommon. It's rare. 99.9% .9 of people can lose weight. And I'll give you an example. Here, here's here's an example. If you couldn't lose weight in a caloric deficit, gastric bypass surgery wouldn't work. Because you know why gastric bypass surgery works? It doesn't change your metabolism. It doesn't make your thyroid work better. What it does, what it does is artificially restricts your ability to eat food, which puts you in a caloric deficit and makes you lose weight. It's that simple. All it does is what your willpower couldn't do before. It restricts your ability to consume food and you lose weight as a result. Um, study after study, let, let's take a look at this. Study after study has been done on this. And I have an example here from the New England Journal of Medicine where they took 224 obese patients and had them report on their, their activity levels and had them report on their caloric intake. Uh, guess what the results of the study were? The average person in the study, average, underreported their 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 caloric level by almost fifty percent. Almost fifty percent. Holy crap! I mean, so you're 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 eating you're eating that much more than what you you think you're eating, and on top of it, they underreported. Or overreported their activity levels by 75% on average. So they think they're working out 75% harder than what they are, and they think they're eating <laughs> they're eating 50% less than what they are. So that that is unbelievable. That's why you're not losing weight. Uh, the the conclusion of the study was is that the failure of obese subjects to lose weight while eating a diet they report as in a caloric deficit was not due to a thermogenic defect. It was due to under-reporting caloric, <laughs> under -reporting caloric in intake and over-reporting uh, their activity levels. That simple. They were eating more than what they were burning. That simple. So let's unpack this a little bit. I, I, you know, I do have some sympathy here. I don't want to sound unsympathetic. I, I have struggled with weight in my life. I've been obese off and on at points, and and I get it. I like to eat food. I have a food addiction sometimes, and you know, it's something I struggle with from here and there. Is is eating like shit and making myself fat and. I think what happens when a lot of people diet or they try to do a diet, uh, they one, they aren't measuring food. It's that simple. When you start measuring things, an amazing thing happens. You make progress. Um, if you're just guessing what you're eating, you're, you are going to underreport what you eat every time. Um, you know, what people think is a tablespoon of peanut butter it's not really what a tablespoon of peanut butter looks like. So they, you know, they end up having three times as many calories as they think they're having. Um, you know, there's also, I'll have a bite here. I'll have a bite there. You know, you're eating your salad with chicken and your kid has French fries and uh, a hamburger and you grab a few bites of those French fries. You do that at every meal. You end up eating five, 600 calories more in a day than what you think. And 500 calories a day is 3,500 calories in a week. That's a pound of fat. It doesn't take much. 
a tablespoon of peanut butter, I think it's like 180 calories, something like that. So, you know, that's half a pound of fat in a week. Uh, so it doesn't take much to make a difference. Um, uh, you know, so it's the taking a bite of food here and there, not weighing and measuring thing. Another thing is most activity trackers, you know, God love Fitbit. You know, I think that it has motivated some people to work out, but I will tell you the calories burn on those activity trackers for the most part is just absolute bullshit. The math does not add up. If you were really burning a thousand calories in a workout, you'd be losing a crazy amount of weight. You're not burning that many. <laughs> I promise you, you have to work out fucking crazy hard to burn that many calories. Um, you know, so I, I just, I have zero faith in what those activity trackers or a machine say that you're burning calories. Just don't even think about that. The scale and the mirror are your, your judge if you're actually burning calories. Um, anyway, hopefully this is helpful. You know, my advice is weigh and measure everything that you eat, stick to a diet plan, Tra track your weight every day. Don't snack. Um, and I promise you, you can lose weight. 99.9% .9 of people can lose weight if they apply those principles. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to ask. I, I've struggled with my weight. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm, you know, I am sympathetic to that. Uh, also, if you have videos that you want me to make, I'm open to suggestions for those as well. Um, and please like and subscribe, uh, like the video, subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, anyway, have a great day.